Well, hey everybody, it's Russ Barkley. It's a slow news week this week as regards ADHD, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about my two books for parents. But first, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers for tuning in to this channel to get the latest on the science about ADHD. This is my second year anniversary, and this channel now has over 170,000 subscribers and more than 4 million views of its videos. So I am truly grateful to all of you for making this channel such a success. Now, in getting started here to talk about my books, let me just bring up my PowerPoint here. A couple of years ago, I wrote several books for parents. The first, Taking Charge of ADHD, was meant to cover all of the basic information that parents need to know about the disorder, about what causes it, about coexisting problems that can occur with it. But it also was meant to talk to parents about how to get an evaluation, what will take place during the evaluation, and so on. And then there is a section that covers the treatments for ADHD, including things that parents can do at home to improve their relationship and interactions with their children, and also what parents can do to help out at school. And then finally, there are chapters that talk about the various medications for ADHD, their effects, their side effects, and essentially what parents need to know about those medicines. So it's a great starting book for parents of ADHD children who want to know more about the disorder and what they can do about it. Then I wrote my second book, 12 Principles for Raising a Child with ADHD. I wrote this book because as I was approaching the end of my career, I wanted to distill for parents what we know about ADHD and its management from the several hundred thousand research studies that exist out there and reduce it all down to what are the basic principles? What does a parent need to know in order to raise a child successfully that has ADHD? And so I developed a set of principles, and this book walks parents through each and every basic principle that a parent needs to know to help raise a successful and effective child with ADHD and a happy one at that too. So I hope you have a look at both books to see if they might be appropriate for your needs. But in the meantime, let me circle back and say once again, thank you for watching this channel and for making it such a success in its first two years of operation. All right, everybody, that's it for this week. I'll talk to you this weekend with more research updates. And as always, I'll drop commentaries when I see things in the news or in the research journals that deserve comment. Until then, live well, be well, take care, and bye for now.